Okay, it's now time to uh, edit the HTML file. Let's look at question number four. It says open the web page j1431tmcp.htm in your web editing software and attach the style sheet created in step three to this page. So let's open the file j1431tmcp.html, right click, edit with Microsoft Expression Web. Okay, this would be the uh, preview of the web page. Okay, so right now you already created the um, previous style sheet which is called tmcp.css so right now you need to attach the previously created style sheet to this HTML page so how you do that instead of saying new style you just attach style sheet go to browse and select tmcp click OK you will notice the background and some of the text colors and all that change okay because you have already performed the necessary modifications in previous tmcp.css file. Now let's look at question number five, edit a HTML image attribute for j1431ray.jpg so that it is 300 pixels wide and 300 pixels high. Do not edit the original image. Now in HTML sometimes it wants you to edit the original image here which you have to do using paint but because it says do not edit the original image it means that you need to edit the HTML attributes here. So select the image right click go to picture properties under appearance for the size the width and the height you need to change it to 300 now you need to tick specify styles first my problem so 300 and you notice that the height here changes as well now this is because keep aspect ratio um, is being activated so you need to uncheck the keep aspect ratio checkbox and then modify it to 300 Okay, now it also says set an attribute for this image to display the text manta image if the image j1431 ray.jpg is not available. So go back to general under alternate, uh, alternate text here. This means the attribute for this image. All right, type in manta image and click OK. Okay, you will notice that the image resized. Now let's move on to question number six. In the text that ends holiday company or by clicking here, make only the words clicking here a hyperlink to open the web page, HTTP blah blah blah, in the new window called underscore manta. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to search for this text. Now, although you can actually find it here, the faster way to do it is to press Control F and type in holiday company click find next you will see here and you will notice that on, it says only make the text clicking here a hyperlink right so highlight the text clicking here only right click select hyperlink and it says to open the web page so what you need to do is you say existing file or web page and then type in the full address here hc.co.uk now it says opens in a new window called underscore manta okay so go to target frame and new window underscore manta I don't know whether it's pronounced manta or manta oh, anyway click okay you will see that it actually changed to a hyperlink okay moving on number seven in the text that starts email us for details of our manta make only the word email a hyperlink to send an email message to tmcp at cie.org.uk with no subject line okay same thing use the control f function to actually find it email us for details okay so it says make only the words email a hyperlink so right click again hyperlink but this, this time it needs you to send an email message right so select email address and the address tmcp at cie.org.uk you will notice that there will actually be a mail to followed by a colon that appears here okay don't remove it that is normal okay with no subject there you go press ok you will notice that it becomes a hyperlink too Okay, so let's save this. And look at question number eight. In the same paragraph, make only the text click on this link a hyperlink to send an email message 
to again tmcp at cie.org.uk with the subject line donation by followed by your name and candidate number again in the same par paragraph make only the text click on this link click on this link okay click on this link right click again hyperlink same email address so let's just select it from the recently used email addresses with a subject line donation by followed by your name and candidate number so Han, Han, 6969 there you go all right save it let's move let's move on to question nine place a copy of the html source in your evidence document now this means it needs you to copy your code html source actually means code so go on to code scroll over here you will see all the code here so copy everything, control A, all right, copy, and paste it into your evidence document here. Just paste the whole thing in. Okay, this is what it wants you to do. Okay, number 10, it says save your web page. Open this web page in a web browser. Place a screenshot of this web page in your evidence document. So open your web page here, or you can actually go to file preview in browser and select which one you want. So uh, let's say I'll select Chrome. <laughs> Sorry that my computer is so slow. Oh, there you go. So what it wants you to do is take a screenshot of this entire screen and then paste it below your HTML code. Okay, now so number 11, place a copy of your style sheet in your evidence documents. Same thing. Remember tmcp.css you edited previously. So just move on to there. Okay, copy everything and again paste it into your evidence document. Alright, so we are done for the uh, HTML and CSS portion of this paper.